Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. Today's video is going to be super exciting because I'm going to show you how you can play high-end PC games directly on your mobile phone using GeForce Now Cloud Gaming. This is an official cloud gaming platform by Nvidia, and the best part is that you don't need a powerful PC or console. If you've ever dreamed of playing big PC titles, online multiplayer games, or even RTX supported games on your phone, this video is for you. Recently, GeForce Now received some updates, and with the right setup, the experience can be surprisingly smooth. Now let's talk about the setup. Up. You'll need two apps on your phone, the GeForce Now Cloud Emulator app and UFO VPN. I recommend this VPN because it offers better stability and lower latency for cloud gaming. First, open UFO VPN. After opening it, tap on server selection. Here you'll see different options like fastest location, high speed servers, and servers from many big countries. The nice thing is that the servers are also categorized, for example, for video streaming or gaming. Since GeForce Now is available only in certain countries, you'll see those supported regions here. You can technically connect to any of them, but from my experience, the Netherlands server usually gives the lowest ping and shorter queue times, so I connect to the Netherlands server. Inside UFO VPN, you'll also find some extra features that are actually useful. There's a kill switch, which cuts your internet if the VPN connection drops suddenly, helping avoid sudden disconnects. There's an ad blocker that blocks ads and trackers while you're connected. You also get split tunneling, which lets you choose which apps use the VPN and which don't. And most importantly for us, there's Smart Hop. Open Smart Hop and set it to aggressive or balanced for low latency tolerance. This helps make the gameplay feel more responsive. Once that's done, keep the VPN running in the background and move on to the next step. Now, open the GeForce Now Cloud Emulator app. When it opens, tap on the Get In button. You'll be redirected to the login page. If you're new, create a new account. Enter your email address and continue. On the next page, fill in your display name, date of birth, and create a new password. Tick the I am human checkbox, complete the verification, and click on Create Account. You'll receive a six-digit OTP on your email. Email. Enter that code to confirm your email address. After that, you'll see a few information and consent screens. Just tick them and submit. Once done, you'll be redirected to the official GeForce Now website. Here, you'll see different subscription plans. You can join the free plan for now and upgrade later if you want better performance or shorter queues. After selecting your plan, click on Play Now, and the GeForce Now Cloud Emulator will fully open. Inside the emulator, you'll quickly notice that it's not limited to PC games only. You'll also find some popular mobile titles like Genshin Impact available to play. But where GeForce Now really shines is in its PC game section. The library is massive, and if you check the top sellers category, you'll see many well-known and popular PC titles. While not every game is available on the free tier, a good number of them are. Just keep one thing in mind. If a game is paid, it needs to be already owned in your Steam or Epic Games library before you can play it here. Below that, you'll see ultimate tier games like Cyberpunk 2077, which require a subscription upgrade and also offer RTX support. Another interesting section is Instant play games. These don't require a Steam account at all. You can think of them like demo versions that you can instantly try and enjoy without logging in anywhere. As you scroll down, you'll keep finding more and more big PC titles. The library honestly feels massive. Before starting any game, open the settings menu. In the connection section, link your Steam and Epic Games accounts so you don't have to log in every time. Then go to gameplay settings, set server location to auto, and keep the quality on balanced for the best experience. Now let's try some games. I first opened the Counter-Strike 2 page. Here you need to tap Tap on Mark is Owned. A pop-up will appear, just tap Not Now. Then you'll see another pop-up asking, Do you own this game? Tap Yes. After that, the play button becomes available, and you can start the game. This process is similar for most games. If you don't own a game, you can always add it to your Steam library first. Counter-Strike 2, for example, is a free game. When I started the game, I got placed in a queue. There were 33 people ahead of me. Don't panic if this happens. This is normal on the free tier. In my case, it took around two minutes, which is actually very reasonable. After some loading screen, the game started. Sometimes, especially the first time, it may ask you to log into Steam again inside the emulator. Just do it once and you're good to go. Once the game starts, you'll get on-screen touch controls. Honestly, playing games like Counter-Strike with touch controls is pretty tough. I managed to take down just one enemy in a full round, which tells you how hard it is. If you really want a good experience, using a controller makes a massive difference. The controls feel more natural, aiming is easier, and overall gameplay becomes much more enjoyable. After that, I tried Marvel Rivals. The game ran smoothly for the most part, with a few small fluctuations here and there. That's completely normal in cloud gaming, especially since we're also using a VPN. Even with that, the gameplay felt responsive and fun, and I didn't face any major issues while playing. Next, I tested Black Myth Wukong. This one also ran smoothly, but keep in mind you must already own Black Myth Wukong in your Steam library to play it on GeForce Now. The performance was actually impressive, with solid FPS and smooth visuals, which is kind of crazy considering this is all happening on a mobile device through the cloud. I also tried Hogwarts Legacy, which many of 
you might have claimed earlier on the Epic Store. However, to properly play this game on GeForce Now, you'll need the Ultimate subscription. I tested several more games as well, and most of them ran really well, but if I show every single one, this video would easily become way too long. So the main takeaway here is simple. GeForce Now lets you turn your phone into a powerful gaming machine. With a decent internet connection, the right VPN setup, and a little patience for queues on the free tier, you can enjoy big PC games anywhere, anytime. It's not perfect, but for what it offers, especially on mobile, it's honestly impressive. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel for more guides, and drop a comment below with your questions or game requests. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay creative gamers.